Hi everyone, thanks for stopping in. Today we are going to stop in at Lowe's. I had so much fun at Home Depot, I thought, you know what, why not? And the garden center is locked up tight, but we're still going to mosey through the plants because I just love plants. He's already flowered and bloomed. Yo ho ho, we've got some on clearance. This is Latanya. This is not good for doggies either. Um, but now that I do not have any doggies that go into the backyard, I could possibly consider because this stuff grows amazingly. These are sweet potatoes. She started a couple of these from actual potatoes. Same here. These again kind of grow like wildfire. Ooh, we found us some more plants. Oh, those are pretty. A lot of times I will find clearance plants. Literally, Home Depot and Lowe's have them sometimes for a dollar if you check on the uh, clearance on the inside. And I have had such success with those. I have two bougainvilleas in the backyard that literally have gone wild. And they were uh, dollar clearance plants that were actually dying and on their way out when I grabbed them. All right, let's see if we want to wander inside and see what's doing there. And this is what I'm talking about. If you look, you can see uh, Lowe's and Home Depot usually have a section for clearance. Um, this one's pretty, pretty destroyed here, but there's always a chance of bringing them back for $12.50. And then we come around the corner, and this is where I usually wind up following them for a dollar or so. Uh, no, not today. Today they're pretty expensive still. Oh, that's cool. And that's pretty, too. Wow. Alright. And then sometimes they're just not marked. Like this one here. This little cacti is a dollar, but he is pretty much desecrated. Aloe vera is not marked, but it can't be more than a dollar. These guys are not clearance. They just happen to be back here. So, their clearance plants are pretty much cleared out here. This is an awesome succulent basket. That's really cool. Here's one that's down to a dollar. Pretty much on its way out, even though you do have one little sprout in there that's trying its hardest to come back. I absolutely like the elephant ears. Those are awesome, but I don't think they're clearanced out. I think they're just over here in this area. And then there's their smaller plants. I love the money trees too. Those are so cool. It's so funny. When I lived in the Midwest, I could get ivy to grow and go crazy on me. Since I've been here in the desert, I cannot get ivy to grow, not even in my house, for anything. Because I absolutely love it. I want it, but I just know I can't get it to go what I want here. It doesn't appreciate this warm climate. Oh, these are pretty. That's really adorable. That's cute. Got your little air plants there. Those are interesting. Oh, oh my gosh, that is so cool. That is awesome. Those are cool down there too. That's really cool. Oh. That's adorable. That's flipping adorable. Okay. Let's just move it around this way. Oh, I want. I want. I do believe that they get their plants uh, from the same company that Home Depot does. It's the plant stand. And we've actually, there is, uh, the plant stand is actually out here. And uh, we've actually gone directly to the plant stand 
and gotten plants or cells from there. Oh, I love this bird. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Um, and they did great. Oh my god, it was so hard to leave there with just a few. Um, it was one of those you just wanted to grab everyone you saw. Oh my god, I didn't know any better. I think that was ginger, but I don't believe it is. Look at our little bonsais. How adorable. And then you've got your big bonsai. It's not really bonsai. They just kind of put it together like that. Oh, now that's an interesting critter right there. I've never seen one like this before. And we do have an arboretum out here that have plants from all over the world. And I can't say that I've ever seen these there either. Um, that is so cool. That almost looks like it was spliced together. And you got your Venus fly traps, which I haven't seen a fly in a while because they look like they're starving. All right, I am on lunch, so we'll have to make this a little bit quick. But I did think I thought I'd take you along and just see what we could see. Oh my God, those are beautiful over there. Oh my gosh, and, and yeah, the technical term, the plant name has eluded me. <laughs> Philodendrons, thank you. Philodendrons. All right, and then you've got all your garden needs over here. Hey, this is kind of cool. Kitchen herb garden. I like that. I love these little kits for little youngins. Hey, that would be cool too. I actually like this idea. I thought about getting one of these and trying it, but it's, it's like a hundred bucks. And now you've got all your little rocks. These are really pretty. I love the small baby ones too. You also have your beach sand. You have all of your peat mosses and potting soils and the likes. I've got a couple of orchids that I got from work um, that stopped blooming so I trimmed them back like they say you are supposed to and so far I haven't seen any growth but from what I understand it takes a whole year once you trim them back so they are a plant that you really have to be dedicated to and we got soil testers, moisture lights, thermometers more thermometers, clocks with thermometers, and none of these are reading accurate because it is not 100 degrees or 80 degrees here. I believe right now our current temperature is 110, quite possibly a little bit more than that. But right now we are in the AC here, so they're kind of reading the indoor temperature here. But let's mosey on out into the 100 degree weather here into their outside area and see what's doing up here. Again, we have more cacti. The prickly pear cacti. These guys are so cool. These guys I love too. These guys actually grow tall. They can get as tall as 14, 15 feet. It is very, 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 very warm out here, so I may not stay out here for too much longer. No, I want to see what's doing here. I really like these two. I mean, I know it's just a grass, but I just love them. And supposedly they bring butterflies and things like that when they uh, actually flower. We've got all of our pots and things on this side. some baby birds of paradise here. The flowers on these when they do bloom are absolutely gorgeous. Got some gardenias here. Okay, these are the fox elders. Magistrum. Magistrum. Alrighty. Oh, it is so warm out here. We are going to head back in. There's our jasmine. You've got your ferns. I love these guys too. These guys, um, they just are amazing. Very 
hardy. Oh, and look. And we've got one of our grass plants. It's got a little bulb at the top there, ready to burst into bloom. Oh, poor babies are wilting. Alrighty, we are going to head back inside here. Head around the corner here. We've got gloves. Gloves of all type. I don't believe these go here. I'm not seeing where they go. I think these were supposed to be over by the cars and someone brought them over here. Oh, prettiest gloves in the world. Yes, sirree, bud. I like these too with the little teal turquoise toppings. It's amazing how this color, they have loved it for years and then it's just kind of blown up. What do we got here? And then we've got a whole pack of latex coated gloves. They look like so. Got your honey bird, hummingbird. Um, you really want to give it to them without the dye. It says it's no artificial red dye, but I'm not sure where I've seen any non-artificial red dye. These birdhouses are really cute. Hey, these are like the little handles that we saw at Hobby Lobby the other day. So there's a use for them. And if you kept it out some, it could also be a perch for the cute little birdities. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I can't take it all the way out of there, but it is a bird feeder in the shape of a picnic table. That is so clever. That's awesome. More nectar. Hummingbird swing. Concentrated nectar. Bigger, better bag. You've got your bird feeding cages. Oh, that's cool, a finch sock. That's one way to keep the squirrels out of it. Oh, this is really cute, little upside down umbrella bird bath. Another sweat feeder with a cover on it. Alrighty, and then my favorite, all the pruning and trimming and pruning tools. Alright, oh, now that is a really cool trowel. I like that. Alright, moving on over into shovels and rakes and pitchforks. You've got your weeders for working in the gravel, which is we have a lot of out here since uh, watering grass is a chore. Alrighty, and I have just checked the time, so it is time for me to get back. Oh my god, that's adorable. That is flipping adorable, guys. A little camping shuttle, mini shuttle. All right, well, thanks a lot, everybody, for stopping in with me. I hope you enjoyed, and I think we're going to do more of this. Uh, nice thing with Lowe's is there is no music playing, so we are able to mosey about more and actually check out a few more things than we were at Home Depot. Ooh, I miss those cute puppies. Okay, that's cool. That is a really cool grip, 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 grip. Mad grip, it says. All right, we will talk to you all later. Take care, everybody. Have a great day, and we will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.